Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a coloring book in BookBolt. But before we go ahead and do it, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Now here we are over in BookBolt Pro. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a look over here. We click on our name on here on the right hand side. Then we scroll down to where it says BookBolt Designer and we click on that. Now we're going to log in. This part here isn't really all that necessary at this particular point but if you're deciding you want to create a cover then might suggest that you choose the right size and get it all set up ready to go and I'm going to be making this one 26 pages and we're going to be doing a white background we're going to hit submit so I'm doing this because I do plan on turning this into a coloring book that I can upload later on and I think I'll do a video either this week or next week about creating the cover for a coloring book Okay, so this is not what we want right now. What we do want to do is go over here to where it says Interior Pro. So we click on that. And then it'll bring us to this page here. Now you have to be a pro member to be able to join, get this section. And that's perfectly fine. Now the first thing we want, might want to do is go down here and choose the size. So we're going to be choosing the size is 8.5 by 11. We click on that. And that's what we do. Now, what we have to do now is go over here to PowerPoint. So I'm just going to bring PowerPoint up. Or if you have um, if you have Google Docs, or which is free, or another one, then you can choose to do it this way, using them. So I'm just going to go on the blank screen just here. Over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go here to Layout, and I'm going to hit Blank Layout. Now, next thing we have to do is go over here to Design. Now over here on the right hand side you see where it says slide size click on that go down to custom slide size and let's adjust the size to 8.5 by 11 you see how it's in inches so we'll just keep it in inches and then we hit ok and it'll ask us if we want to go maximum or ensure fit we're going to be making sure we go ensure fit and there we have it now the first thing you want to do at this particular point is go over here to the home section go over here to shape fill go grab the rectangle shape fill take it to the very top corner and drag it down to the very bottom corner making sure it locks in there we are now what we need to do is over here where it says shape format we click on that we go make sure we go over here to where it says shape fill and we go no fill and then we go here to shape outline and we go no outline and the reason we're doing this is so as we can turn this into an image i want this entire thing to become an image now right here i'm going to duplicate this slide right now and i'm going to duplicate it a couple of times there we are now i want to have that as is now the first thing we want to do at this particular point is go over here to shapes go over to this section just here which is the text fill area the text check the text box click on that and we now go here and we drag this across to here now first thing I want to do is centralize that take it up to about 36 or 40 I like 40 I'm going to change the font to this one here and I'm going to say this coloring book belongs to and then I'm going to take it down a few spaces. I'm going to hit shift and underscore. So as the child can actually put their name in it. Now we're here in this area here. What we need to do is hit control A. So hit control plus A. Now what we need to do is go control G. That's control plus G. So we hit that. And now what we need to do is right click on here. And we want to save as picture. 
we didn't have that and we want to have this going into our desktop area now I already have one set aside and it one called animals so I'm going to click on there I'm going to open that up and I'm going to be putting this one here this book belongs to Oh, this book belongs that'll do making sure it's portable network graphics which is a PNG file and we hit save now I want to actually have a look at that I want to see what that looks like and that's exactly what I want to see perfect now the next thing we want to do is we want to go over here we want to go over here to Pixabay now Pixabay has this section here you got illustrations and vectors now I'm going to keep it in illustrations for the moment and I want to type in the word coloring images animals or coloring animals coloring book animals I have a habit of capitalizing my first the first letter of all my words when I'm doing this type of thing at a habit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be choosing it for say four to six year old kids so you want something which is a reasonably simple a simple little image for kids to be able to color in something that's going to make it easier for them to do so what we need to do is just I'm going to double click on this one and what we want to do is download this as a PNG see how it says free for commercial use no attribution required that means that you're more than welcome to use this as a graphic as a coloring graphic in one of your KDP books that you're trying to sell so let's click on that and as you can see you've got PNG 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 and SVG so what we want to do is I'm going to go 14 by 1443 by 1920 and I'm going to download that now we're going to download that into here and I'm going to call this one rabbit and hit save I think I might have spelled that wrong <laughs> doesn't matter anyhow we're going to go over back over here to our this area just here now remembering how I got you to duplicate that once you put the shape in there this is the reason why we're going to go over here we're going to now insert from picture this device I'm going to now go back over to my animal folder and I want to grab the picture of the rabbit now what I plan on doing just here is I plan on shrinking this down to do this so as to keep the aspect ratio of the image I need to make sure I left click oh, sorry I need to make sure I click on the shift key and then hold down the left button and scroll down just enough so as I can fit that centrally in the image see how it's come in now it's a bit smaller and the reason we're doing that is when you try to upload this into a say for example you try to upload this into where we're going to be going next it'll look stretched out and look weird so we need to adjust the image size just a little bit so as to make it work now another thing we're here we're in this area let's go control a so as we can select it all we can now hit control plus G and that turns it into an image now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and we're going to hit save as picture and I'm going to be calling this one rabbit 2 rabbit 2 and there we have it we can save that now now what I want to do is I want to grab, go along and grab a number of images from Pixabay and what I want to do is I want to find images with smiley image smiley animals large eyes something like that or something which has got the larger eyes like this one here these ones here and something that are very very similar in style something that kids will be able to associate with them you'll be able to associate as a very similar type of picture and this way it'll just be more consistent so I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to come back once we have done that okay I'll be right back Alright, now for the sake of the video, I decided to create another folder in here called number two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this image just here. I'm going to be placing that 
into my PowerPoint slide. So I'm just going to quickly go there. We're going to go hit insert picture this device. And we're going to go grab this cat. Now what of course we're going to be doing is clicking on the image. We're going to shrink holding down the shift key and shrink that down to keep the aspect ratio correct. And we're going to be setting this one in the center. We might want to make that a little bit bigger, making sure you're holding down the shift key to keep the aspect ratio correct and keep it in the center. There we are. Now, of course, we want to go control A to select all. Then we go control plus G or control G. And then we want to right click on the image itself and save as picture wait for it to do its thing and we're going to be placing this into here and we'll be calling that cat number two or cat two and this way all of the ones that are of a different that have been adjusted in size can go into that folder and we know that everything in that folder will be right to upload into the next section we're going to so I'm just going to pause the video while I do that on the rest of these images Okay, now we're back in the Interior Generator Pro. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to go here to Interior. And then you got you see we've got Interior here and Upload. What we want to do is click on here to Upload. And remembering we had saved that file, those files, into one called Animals 2. So I'm just going to double click on that. And we're going to go to Animals 2. And the first thing we want to do is click on all of these images and drag them across to where I want to keep them. I'm going to grab hold of that and drag them straight into here. And they'll all upload into here. And that's exactly what we want to see. Now, remembering we had the first page up here, let's scroll back up here, and then we click on this section just here. Now remembering we have this area here and we have this one just here and we had to turn this into an image there we are save as picture and we'll keep it in the animals 2 section and we'll call this this book belongs to and we hit save and hopefully that will have saved the entire image and not just the blank page Let's have a quick look at it when we go back over here. And it does look like it has saved it. So that is exactly what we want to see. So let's go back over here to the interior design section. We'll go to upload. We'll go back over here and we'll drag that across to this section just here. And that is exactly what we want to see. Now what we need to do over here is I'm going to go over here to the blank page. I'm going to go setting it there. And the very first one I want to do is I want to have that blank page just there. I'm going to click on that one just there. Wait for this to do this. And I want to click on this image that's just there. You see, it's got this coloring book belongs to. Now what I want to do is add another one down here. And I might just add a few more. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure there is a blank page between all of these in case the child decides to use felt pens. So we click on that. And we just grab all of the images as we go along. And you see how they fit nicely on the page. They don't stretch all the way to the edge. And that's a good thing because when we end up turning it into a PDF, it doesn't get stretched out and look strange. So we can just continue to go through and grab all of these images. And as we go along, we just continue to do that now. Remember, I'm putting a blank page there just so in case any, any of the colors bleed through to the next section. It just makes it neater, a lot less chance of making it messy for the child, and probably even less stressful for the child as well. So we'll just throw some more of these in. We've got one more image. We'll throw the gorilla in here. There we are. Now, of course, you want to have more pages than 19, but just for the sake of this, this is all you need to do. Now, I'm now going to download this. I'm going to download this a few more pages. And then we're going to have this as 26 pages in total. 
including this one and the front one we have about 28 pages that's good in fact I might bin this one so we have 26 pages in total we can hit download now we're going to download that into the animals folder so as we know where it is and we're going to put it in there and we are now going to call this one here ebook interior Actually, it's not an ebook, it's a book. Book interior. Let me hit save. And they'll be saving it as a PDF. And that's exactly what you want to do. Now let's open this up and we'll have a look at what this looks like. We'll shrink this down just a little bit. Now remembering we allow the first page to be blank. And here it is. We've got this coloring book belongs to. Now you could also decorate this by putting images here and here. Down the bottom here just so as to make it look nice as well. But for the sake of the saving time I chose not to do that. Now here's the first image and as you can see. I'll just shrink that down just a little bit more. It's kept the aspect ratio quite nicely. And it doesn't look stretched or out of shape. In fact they all look like they're in the right shape. And they all look like they are going to fit the page quite nicely. And you can get these images and you can upload them onto Amazon KDP. You can rearrange them. In fact, if you wish to, all you need to do is just keep this. You can put them in different orders. And you can upload these onto Amazon KDP. And change it up and just make it unique by just changing the covers. You, you can have half a dozen of these or more. And just changing the cover up and changing where you place them and so forth. And that's all there is to it. Alright guys, if you like this particular video, please consider smashing the like button. As well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not consider sharing and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about using BookBolt for your colouring books. Okay guys, thanks for watching. And bye for now.